could you just tell us a bit, um, Pippa, let's stick with you about your future ambitions. Maybe they'll be uh, influenced by the post-fellowship, but also any advice you'd give to new PhD students. In terms of future ambitions, I think it's mostly just finishing the PhD. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Get through the internship and then have some real quality time with my data to try and like say no to all the other things and just get it finished. Um, and then sort of going forward, yeah, I'd, I'm very keen to remain in social research in some form um, and sort of form, I think sort of high quality social science is a really important part of the sort of response to climate change. So it's something I want to do. Be academically or maybe somewhere else? Oh, we'll see down. Yeah, we'll of course. Um, just checking out future vacancies. <laughs> Um, and in, in terms of advice, um, I think we've talked a lot about like getting involved in lots of different things. And I think I would say like figure out what interests you and what doesn't because you have to say no to a lot of things and that's fine. It's a bit overwhelming sometimes and there's like lots of stuff you could do, but you don't have to do it all. Just focus on the things that, you know, bring you joy and you find you get a lot out of. Um, I also just quickly wanted to say about networking, like when I started the PhD, I didn't think networking was a thing that w I was good at or was for me really. I didn't really know what it was, but academia is a really great place to do that. And like, if you just email someone who's research you're interested in or who you've seen present an interesting paper, the worst case scenario is that you'll have like a half hour online chat about some really interesting research. The best case is that you'll end up collaborating together or something in the future, or you'll see each other later at conferences and be like, oh, hiya, I've got a friend now. Um, so yeah, just have a go at that sort of thing. And also just generally um, take care of yourself because you are a lot more than your PhD and you've got to have those foundations. Great advice. Thank you. Amy? I think advice-wise, I just kind of echo Pippa, really. In terms of ambition, I think, um, you know, I'm really excited to uh, be a researcher at the CCRI. I'm really looking forward to the next few years, kind of see where they take me, um, working on two fantastic projects um, and looking forward to kind of the things that are coming up with them. Um, and I suppose looking a little further ahead, just thinking about kind of working out my research space. So kind of maybe going back to some of the, the points from my PhD or, or the things that have been interesting me in the projects that I'm working on now. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to, to keep working with everyone here at the CSIRI, really. It's great. I'm really happy to be here.